I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I was just thinking, I have come full circle from when I started Mystery Card Monday, like three plus years ago, where right before I went live, I would just take everything on my desk and sweep it into a bucket and chuck the bucket on the floor. <laughs> and I'm not kidding that it, whoops, Siri doesn't, okay. Um, it's literally what I'm doing. I was, uh, oh, I don't want to talk about it. You know me by now. You know me by now, right? Always scrambling. But I get so much done in those last, well, anyway. Hi, welcome. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Shayla, thank you. It dripped a little bit, but yeah, this morning I was like, whoa, it's all curly. And now I was like, oh, now it's doing the wing out. But I like it. I think I'm going to go back to the curls. We just have to tame them a little bit. There is Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Okay, I'm just, uh, do I need any of this stuff? Oh my gosh, you guys. I am in the best mood today. I can't, okay, like I can't even remember. <laughs> scrambling, scrambling. What do I need? What do I need? Um, I can't remember the last time I was in such a good mood. I am on top of the world. Everything's coming up roses today. Bear with me. I'm just, I'll find my desk here and then we'll play. I'll tell you some stories. It'll be good. I'm a little, a little more hyper. Is it possible for me to be more hyper than you? Seriously. How did I make such a mess? It was clean when I started. Oh, look at all the comments. I looked down for 30 seconds and look what's happened. Oh my gosh. The comments blew up. Hello, Jen and Joy and Kathy, Ida. Hello from Washington. Hello. Where's my bell? Where's my bell? I need my bell. There's my bell way over there. Where's my garbage can. Hello. Okay. Washington's in the house. Where's, um, where's Luann? Wisconsin's not representing lately. What the heck? Kim, Kim and, uh, and Ida are representing from Washington. So where the heck are my uh, Wisconsin girls? Mm -mm -mm. Alberta and Canada, we represent. Marcella from PEI. Melanie from Foam Lake, Saskatchewan. Donna and Penny and Tracy and Dana and Susan. Hello. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Why? Why am I in such a good mood? I hear you cry. Why? I don't even know. I didn't sleep well. I don't, you know, what? that doesn't matter. It doesn't, I know why. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Who needs sleep? There's too much to do. <sighs> you know why I think I'm in such a good mood? I think, I think it's because I took Thursday off. Do you guys have any idea how much brain space that I may never go back to Thursdays again. No, it's not. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I have been a creating machine. Look at okay. Look at all the toys. <laughs> look what I. Mm. I have been designing today, and I have had so much fun, and I've been so creative, and it's because I'm relaxed. What? Me? Relax. This is me relaxed. Like, oh, look at all the more comments. More are coming through. There's Rebecca. Hello. Oh, younger. I'm keeping the curls. Shale, I'll keep them forever. Bernice, Myrna, hello. And Coral. Chris Stone's from Australia is in the house. No bill. Okay, Mournville, you get a goat. <laughs> Mournville gets a goat. Hi, Christine. Okay, you can have a bell for Edmonton. All right. Okay. Anyway, I've, okay, there's a whole lot of things going on. In my team page, we do a, a tell me some happy news on Sundays. I do a post and read chimes in with some happy news. Um, and I just think it's great to, to hear some happy news instead of some sad news. So I had all kinds of stuff to share yesterday. Dad had an amazing, thank you. And look at Tracy spotted this. She's like, wow, look at that. Okay. Now it's dark blue and white, but it's, it's a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marcel. Okay. So dad has had a really good week, like a really good week. He's, he knows, like he knows it's Wednesday and I'm there. He calls down like Tam, like he, he's been so present it's been such a gift. Um, then I had a birthday. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. 56 years young. Uh, it was an amazing day. I was spoiled by my family. They gave me really great, thoughtful gifts, like really thoughtful. Um, they know me, they know what I like. And that was lovely. Of course, it's not about the gifts, but um, it was nice to know that they had put some thought in uh, because they know that I will essentially cut them if they ask me, what do you want for your birthday? Worst question in the world to ask Anybody, forget a woman. I hate that question with a passion that burns. If you don't know what I want for my birthday, don't be buying me anything because that's just saying, this is what I want. You go and buy it. Well, I can go buy it. 
you know, if that's as much thought as you're putting into it. Anyway, so that was fabulous. My husband cooked me a delicious meal. Um, and I think the best part of it is that um, I stuck to my healthy eating plan. <sighs> that's huge for me. You guys know that's huge for me. I almost cracked on the weekend. I'm like, it's my birthday. I can have the popcorn. Life's short. Eat the popcorn. And I went, no, you don't even, you don't need the popcorn. I had a cup of tea. I had a cup of almonds. It's just the associations. And anyway, I'm just so proud of myself. And then, and then, what? so Sunday it was, um, I cleaned the house. Who else gets happy about cleaning the house? I do. I do. It was minging, you guys. You could write your name in the dust. It was, there was a mud pit in my bathtub. It's right under the window that's been open and all the dust and the guck. I added water and it was like a nice little mud bath. I cleaned my house. Made me feel good. Did my nails. Because after I did um, the cleaning, my nails all fell off. Um... The biggest thing that makes my heart so happy, so happy, so happy is my Rebecca. She's, I know you're listening. I know you're listening out there. My Rebecca, yeah, no giggling. My Rebecca got a job and today was her first day. I'm so excited. I am so excited, you guys. I know. I'm more excited than she is. Right, Becca? You're happy now. Yes. Okay. You guys, do you have any idea how huge this is? Like, okay, we will get two cards. I promise. I just have to share because I'm so excited and I've already shared with my family. They already know it. So it's old news to them. I'm going to sleep so well today. You cannot listen to this part, right? As you guys know, if your moms or if your sisters or aunties, whatever, you know, all you want is the best for your kids. And you know, I've shared with Rebecca's permission that, uh, you know, the last seven, eight months have been hard for her. She's got anxieties. Uh, she's OCD, a lot of anxieties, which actually listen to the podcast, Mel Robbins. I'm telling you guys, you got to listen to her. I listened to her the other day and I was like, okay, maybe you are ADD. Like we went, when we went to the therapist, I'm like, no, she's, we don't need, we don't need, no, she's not ADD. She doesn't have all things. She's not, she's not, nah, OCD. Let's go with that. I listened to this Mel Robbins podcast and I'm like, I think you're ADD. Like, did you know that girls present much differently than boys do? I did not know that. I'm looking at them. Well, she's not fidgety and she's not all the things I think of with ADHD or ADD. Anyway, completely other tangent, but she might be ADD. Regardless, she, she's been, she struggles with the social stuff um, and being overwhelmed and the focus and all the things. <sighs> anyway, so today... She got, um, well, she started her first day at the Humane Society. She, what are you? You're a maintenance assistant. I just love it. She's like the maintenance. She's like, she's like, um, what was his name? Uh, Tracy, you know, what was his name on, uh, not Three's Company. What was that show? The maintenance guy on, what show was that? One from the eighties or the nineties. Anyway, she's like the maintenance helper. And she, she got to play with puppies today. Like she's, oh my God, life change. Anyway, Schneider, that's it. From, from what? Um, from what, Tracy? Schneider, what the heck? Show, I can picture the apartment. Anyway, Tracy will help me. She's old like me. <laughs> Sorry, Tracy, I had to. Anyway, it's just been one thing after the other. And then today I came down here and I designed a whole bunch of cards. Uh, one day at a time. Thank you. One day at a time? Yes. With Valerie Bertinelli. Right? That was one day at a time. Was it? Yes, Valerie Bertinelli. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. I was thinking three's company two show. That's Anyway, you guys. Okay. So I'm going to do a little quick thing. I'm sorry. It's 7.09. I'm excited. We are going to make cards. I promise you. I promise you we will. Okay. Um, and for anybody who's just popping in for the first time, welcome. I'm Tamara. This is Mystery Card Monday. You're on Tamara's paper trail. Um, and we essentially listen to me ramble for most of the, the hour. And then we make a card for like four minutes. Um, so we're in, look, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. My, oh, look, a die. Donna, look away. Look away, Donna. Oh my God. Donna's going to yell at me. Okay. I'll put it here in my tray. Okay. When I can't find it. Okay. Oh, there's that. I was looking for that. <laughs> Back. Okay, you guys go in the bucket. Okay, I'm gonna. So Tracy, Tracy, hey Tracy, uh, tell the people like our extravaganza is coming up. I want to say October 14th. I can't remember. I just have. I have to keep scooping. I have to keep scooping. Uh, I think it's October 14th. Let's go with. And Tracy and I have it. Okay, stop it. Flip, please. Why did I flip? I thought we were gonna make a card. We're not. 
Uh, Donna, it's in the bucket. It's okay. Um, extravaganza is like almost half sold out. Okay. That's all I'll say for now. I just, I've done posts on it. Um, it's a hundred dollars. We don't even know what we're making yet because we haven't seen the holiday catalog yet. Uh, but it's, if you've been before, you know, you get the stamp set, all the things. October 14th in beautiful Mournville. There's a goat. Um, yes. Anyway, I'm not, I'm anyway, it's happening and we need, uh, registrations open to everybody in Canada now. Like you get a stamp set. We're making, I don't know, anywhere between nine and 15 projects. Cards. I think we're doing tags. I forget. I don't even remember. Um, oh, one day at a time. There you go, Connie. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can upgrade to the bundle once we know what it is. There's all kinds of swag. There's prizes. There's all the things. There is a to-go option as well. Check my posts. We'll talk about that a different day. Um, I want to, though, show you. Oh, my God. I am so in love with the... Oh, look what's going on here. I'm in love with this cat. What is... Sorry. We now get into the moving my camera segment of our show. And, yes, operators are standing by if you want to know... If you want to register for our extravaganza. Sorry, guys. This is... I, I whacked this a little too hard, and now it's not happy at all. <laughs> We're going to have to look at this off kilter, I think, tonight. <sighs> Capricorn born in the year of the goat, so totally relate. Okay, you are a goat, Tracy. Let's do this. Scooch it in there. That's a little bit more. Strange. Okay, I am kind of obsessing over this stamp set. Little dreamers. I'm having a class. It's not August 4th. That's a big fat lie. I changed it. It's now September 1. Because the dyes were unavailable and um, all the stuff and things. So anyway, September 1st. You get the dyes and the stamp set for $80 porch pickup. Uh, still picking. Hey, Kathy. Yeah. Well, yeah. We won't go there. Uh, $90 if you're long distance. If you want just the stamp set, $45 porch pickup, $55 long distance. If you want just the class, $40. Look at the cards we're making. Now, I tweaked this one. You would have, I shared this yesterday. I tweaked it. Look at So this one was, I'm like, no, that's too much white space. This one, I like it so much better. He is just, I can't get enough of this little guy. Look at the other ones I've made. Okay, this one is what started it. I'm like, oh, look, how cute is he? Still find it weird that he's a cow floating through the air. Anyway, then I moved on and I, oh, this is another one I had made before. Then I got into this one. I, I don't know why I needed a Lost Lagoon Lion, but I did. I needed the LLL, and I love it so much. Then, oh, here's a card. Nothing to do with class, but anyway, nice. Hmm. Uh, then this one, oh, hot off the presses. I finished it like right before dinner, and I love it. I love it so much. I just We should just sit here and stare at this card for an hour, but we won't. I must move on. Because there's, you know, a whole bunch of you. And this is about when people start to tune out going, oh my God, is she even going to make a card tonight? I am. I just have to find, there's no space. Okay. I'm just, yeah. I don't know if it's a good thing when I'm in a good mood or a bad thing when I'm in a good mood. I don't know. Aren't they cute, Pat? You take the class. I know, Shayla. I know. Hi, Pat. Do you want me to start again? Just to wind up Donna and Princess. Princess, are you in the house? I saw comments coming through you guys, but I didn't see what they were. And now I don't want to read them because you want to get on with actually making a card. So let's get on with that. See, so now my camera is way off. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Too interesting to tune it. Okay, maybe. It is like a car accident that you just have to keep on watching, right? Okay, look, you guys. I used Azure Afternoon and holy, holy, holy. Can't believe I used it, but I did. Here it is. I wonder where my other piece is. I bet it's in that bucket I just threw my stuff in. Oh, nerds. Hang on, okay. There's another piece, unless you want to see me use. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Hang on. Choo, choo, choo. That's the problem when you sweep everything into the bucket. Oh, well, I'll just make another piece. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, there it is. I found it. Yay. Okay. Are you ready to make a card? So this is where you don't have to worry if you're ever like half an hour late because here it is 7.15. I've done nothing yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Donna. It's okay. 
All right, here are the pieces we're using tonight. Mr. Pointer says we need a standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. I know, Pat, are you an Azure fan or a non-fan of the Azure afternoon? Thank you, Kathy. I kind of I dug deep for this one. And actually, I'm going to make multiples of this card. I quite like this layout that I've got with this paper. So this paper, too. Let's get to that in a minute here. Let me, uh, where's my bone folder? I cleaned it up. This is the problem. <laughs> Thanks, Melanie. All right. So there's our card base. Put that aside. Now, we have these pieces. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, our card stock. I can't get used to how close this camera is now, so let's just rearrange here. Sorry that I'm crooked, sort of. Um, so the cardstock is six by three and a quarter. Yay me, using Azure Afternoon. Oh, my nails coordinate, how fun. Designer paper piece, three inches wide by five and a half long. Now let's talk about this paper for a mo. For a mo. This is the paper from, made it, make it, something about making it. Masterfully made. <laughs> This is some pretty intense paper, people. And I've seen a lot of people going, yeah, at first you kind of went, Whoa, and now they're on their like second pack. It's real, the once you start to play with it. Now, um, hi, Mary. Um, like it's a lot, it is a lot. I have seen some great cards made with it. Well, I grabbed this paper, this pattern in particular tonight, because I thought, oh, if I screw up the cutting, I'm okay with it. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure what I will do with this. So it was kind of used as my experiment that turned into my card. Now I'm like, well, now I wish I hadn't cut that piece wrong in the first place. So masterfully made. Um, it's, I'll show you what we're going to turn this into. It's quite shocking how lovely it is. <laughs> so six by three and a quarter and three by five and a half. And your usual tools, trimmers, etc., etc. So let me bring in my trimmer. I'm going to say that I found this layout. It was um, from a card I, I pinned like a long time ago. It, there was a sketch that was done by Kaylin. I don't know who that is. But uh, the card that inspired me was by Sharon Burkert. She's a U.S. demonstrator. And she has uh, her site is As the Ink Dries. Um, so I took inspiration from her card or the layout that she had used, which was inspired by the sketch. So do, 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 do. Okay. So what do I do here? Six by three and a quarter. That's this, right? Six by three and a quarter. All right. So you're going to bring this paper and you are going to cut it, turn it, and you're going to cut it at three and a quarter. So you have a square that's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then what's left here is two and three quarters. And you want to make that square. So you just want to turn it and cut it at two and three quarters. It's just a little bit long. So you have three and a quarter by three and a quarter and two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Wait, I missed something. What are you guys talking about, Mary? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I'll have to go back and read. Okay. Like that. So then we've got a designer paper. Now, this is three wide by five and a half long. And I want this to be a three by three square. But I want this bottom piece to be the three by three. So I, I want this to be my back piece. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. So that's going to be three by three. And then this one, we want it to be two and a half by two and a half. So it's two and a half this way already. And I want it to be two and a half this way. That's it. That's all. So this piece, again, is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then this is going to be two and three quarters by two and three quarters. This is three by three. And this is two and a half by two and a half. Okay, we're just going to tape these together. So this is why I like the Azure Afternoon is because I'm hiding most of it. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Like it's, wow, I thought that Tahitian Tide was a bit wow. And this one is just next level. They're just kind of burn your retina blue. 
And I tried really hard to make a card with this as the base and I couldn't. It was just too much, too much, too much. Oh, I think I'm running out of tape. Okay. So I'm layering these. Okay. That's it. That's all. Like I say, we spent about four minutes making a card. The rest is just chatter. Here's our layout. I'm bringing in my base. That's it. That's it. That's your layout. Oh my gosh. You can use up so much designer paper um, with this layout and you can turn it into like anything you want. So I'm going to tape this down flat, this section. And you could put it in the top corner. I went down. I chose to go down a little bit. You could also go down. Like, I mean, okay, like let's just, you can do whatever configuration you want. You could, you could do all the things. I did it like my new friend Sharon Burkert did and she had this on the right and so I'm just leaving a little a little space here maybe a little more no I'm gonna leave uh, about a quarter of an inch and down about three quarters of an inch this one I'm gonna pop up on dimensionals I mentioned I'm in a good mood today oh my gosh I like honestly creating when you're not stressed to create is a whole other beast you guys whole other beast I'm ahead a little bit sort of yeah I am I am and I'm going to continue to be ahead by not doing my show on Thursdays for the summer we're going to, and then I'll reevaluate. Um, I don't know. It's just been really good. Okay. So this one I'm putting over. So I want the same amount of space to the left as I have to the right. So this again is about a quarter of an inch from the left. And at least gap here. Now on Susan, oh, that's a little bit low, lower than I want. Uh, Susan's card, she had a big bow over here. I didn't want a big bow. So I'll show you what I did. Okay, so right, Mary. It's so hi, Cheryl. Hello from Southern California. <coughs> California gets a goat today. Yeah, there we go. There now I can see everybody's comments. Okay, so then I brought in like this is still really kind of crazy busy, so I wanted to break that up a little bit. Uh, so I had an element again. It's in the buckets. I was looking for the colors to pull from the paper and I went, wow, that is a really nice, big, brilliant orange. Heaven forbid I should actually have taken both pieces out when I had a chance. Um, so that orange is actually, uh, do, 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 what's the word? Um, pumpkin pie, I was going to say peanut butter pie and that's not a thing. <laughs> Okay, I don't know where. Anyway, I have I have a pumpkin pie flourish somewhere, flower somewhere. Maybe I brought it out. Yeah, I did. Dang it. Okay, so this would go lovely. Look, <gasps> I could do that just to break up and hide the paper a little bit. So I could do the orange or I kind of like the orange. I might have to go with the orange or I also did it in the white. This is from the beautifully made from the gorgeously made, gorgeously made stamp set. Wasn't sure about the stamp set, but wanted the dies for sure, because you know I love me some standalone dies. And this one is fun, right? This just looks like um, the edging from note paper. Anyway, that's what that's from. So should I go with the orange? What do you think? Orange or white? Peanut butter pie. Yes. Stop it, Donna. You didn't. Did you? I had peanut butter pie once. It was horrible. We had it. It's still, it's still kind of a bit of a joke uh, amongst the family because it was a fat, where did my, it was a family dinner. We used to get together with one family for dinner for every holidays and stuff. And she made this peanut butter pie and we all took a bite and we all, I, you know, I was taught not to be rude and you pretty much eat what you're given. Uh, but even the hostess said, oh my gosh, don't eat it. It's horrible. And we're like, oh, thank God we didn't have to choke this down. The white. Oh, we got one orange too. Oh, orange, orange, orange. Well, I've got the white. Where? Oh, Donna, the dye's right here. 
Here's the die. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry. Please don't ground me. It's, see, this is why it's not in there because it keeps falling anyway. And this one too. Look at this one, you guys. This is like a torn paper. It's a die that makes it look like torn paper. Right? How fun is that? Okay. Okay. Well, I kind of prefer the white too. I don't think I'm in an orange kind of mood. So I'm going to go with white. Dink. Okay. So the white, it would have been nice if I would have uh, put adhesive on the back, but I did not. So my friend, Mr. Glue, which is dying. And, you know, I have, I'm not kidding, probably 10 other bottles of glue, but I know if I bang on this one enough, I'll get some more out. Waste not, want not. I can't believe Rebecca had a job. And you know what the best, the best, best part about her having a job is she enjoyed it. It was good. There weren't too many people, so she wasn't overwhelmed. She got to play with puppies. I mean, okay, they were actually changing the air filter um, in the in the facility, but she had to distract the puppies, the puppies, while the other guy changed the filter. So they had they spent you know a couple hours cutting all the filters, and then they had to change the filters. And I am just giddy that my daughter has a full time job for the summer. Oh, thanks. This is from nail. Po this is a nail polish holder that I got on uh, Amazon. There were like 10 of them in a pack. Um, and so I gave a lot of them away. But yeah, it's supposed to hold nail polish. It holds my glue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Janice. Look at how fun that is. All right. Now, if you were checking out. My oh, seriously, it's in the bucket. If you're checking out my page earlier, I gave you a Tamara's tip. So this ribbon is just too big and bulky. I mean, come on. It's crazy, ridiculous, bulky. So my Tamara's tip was you grab your scissors and you trim off an edge. Now, I already did, so I'm not going to do it again. But you understand how to cut off a trim off the edge. You just snip, 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 snip. Okay, so I snipped it off. Then you just take off a whole bunch of the fibers Do you know how many bows how many bows you could make with a roll of this ribbon then? So you just peel it off. Don't let go. And then look at you can even use this piece after on a different project, because look how fun this is now. Cool. Cool, right? Then of course I have my little bow tire. So I'm just gonna tie a bow. So you've got all these strands. And this just makes it smaller, like not as bulky. It's a little fancier than your baker's twine. And uh, it's just cool. Something a little different. Doo -doo, like that. How fun is that? Fun. Okay, so. Okay. Um, now, what am I doing? I need to stamp a sentiment. So I'm going to bring in my Azure Afternoon. I cleaned it up. I did. Look at that. This desk was clean before my little craft fest of this afternoon. So actually stamping the sentiment, you're a great friend. I'm going to cough. Don't fight the urge. I think this one is cut fairly straight. So you're a great friend. A little crooked. It's okay. Doo -doo -doo. Thanks, Janice. Try it. It's fun. Um, you can find them, Mary, on Amazon if you just look for a bow tire or somebody else can give you a link. My dad actually made these for me and a bunch of my friends many years ago. He just had a, got a square and he just drilled holes, got some dot grommets and spaced them an inch apart and boom. So I've got different size dowels for different size ribbons and bows, but you can find them on Amazon. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab, look, look at this, it's 729. See, like four minutes of actual crafting and then you can leave, but don't. I don't like when people leave. I do. I check my stats and they make me sad when it's like, oh, after four minutes, you had 15 people leave. I'm like, oh, now I'm sad. <laughs> what happened at the 15 minute mark? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So this is too much. So I'm going to trim this, but I'm going to do it over the gar garbage can because for obvious reasons. Oh, okay. that makes me a little uncomfortable. I'm going to wet this. I would use this, my dollar store spritzer, but there's no water in it. So maybe there would be. Wait, I have water. Honestly, you guys, I am crushing. I'm crushing my eating healthy. Let's have a sip while we're here. 
I'm very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. Just healthy. Just healthy. Okay. I'm going to spritz my fingers for a second here. This is there. So just add a little bit of water just so it's not so staticky and fly away. There. It's a little bit better. Lexa. Oh, I'm sure I have there, Maria. Get to go see Dad on, oh, when am I going? I go Wednesdays and Fridays. And then my mom and I are going to the theater on um, the 15th to go see Aladdin. I can't wait. I have season's tickets and I take her because the woman needs a break. So Craig, I said as my birthday present, he could just, all I wanted was for him to go and Dad sit for me. And he said he would, because he's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to bring in butterflies, my butterflies. Um, there are lots of butterflies in the Stampin' Up! stock. They ordered a bazillion when COVID was hot and heavy, and they were over-ordering to make sure we weren't running out of stuff and because of the supply chain issues and things. So <coughs> they're st they've got a lot of butterflies left. So if you're looking for, like, the perfect embellishment, these are it. Because they're flat, they don't bulk up your postage at all, and they, they, I mean, you can use seven or eight, like you get, look how many you get, you get a lot, for what, ten ninety five? I don't know what they cost, doesn't matter, buy them all, okay, I just want to make sure this is scrolling, okay, and then I'm going to use a big one, way up here, I want it, ideally I kind of wanted it on the project, but he really gets lost, here you can see it, I guess I could. I had him. Okay, I'll try it here. He gets a little lost unless the light's shining on him. So, okay, there you go. That's it. That's your card. Oh my gosh, right? Now, before Donna yells at me, I'm going to do the inside. This is a little crazy big for the inside, though. Um, maybe. Uh, I'm sure I've got some other ones I can do. How about if I just do a little corner of it? Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right, I'm just going to ink up part of it. Where's my scrap paper? It's on the floor with everything else. Okay. Do, do, do. Sugar pie. Oh, oh. oh, MJ. Stop it. Oh, my great. I can get down with some sugar pie. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up. And then I'm just going to do a little, no, I think I would stamp it off and then do, because that's pretty intense. Yeah, like that. And then this, I'll do it on the envelope. <sighs> Thusly. Same thing, just stamp it off a bit first. Okay. Look, Donna, I stamped the envelopes. Okay, do you want to see another card? Oh, I beat you to it. I beat you to it, Donna. Um, okay, so next, I'll show you another, look at that. And this is the one I made earlier. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? You could do this with like virtually any paper. Virtually any. See this one I had the butterfly way up high. This one he's down on here, but he gets a little bit lost. But that's okay. All right, so he's done. Let's put him away. You want to see another card made using this layout? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, let me put this away. Where's are all the pieces in there? Yeah, you're good, Donna. It's except for the stamp. Okay, I'm gonna put away the butterflies. Thank you, Kathy. I I really, really, really like this. Um, I like everything today. Who am I kidding? Uh, where's the other one? Okay, so here's another one with the same layout. Ready? Oh, wait. Didn't you just show us that one earlier, Tamara? I sure did. I sure did. It's for my class. It's for my it's for my class that I just showed you. Same layout. Look at the versatility of this bad boy. How cute. So instead of stamping the green down here, I added a layer and embossed it because mm, it seems to kind of match the paper. Yeah, it does. This is from the Hello Irresistible designer paper that's in the online store. Um, yeah, and then this paper is from the Earthen Elegance paper. I was talking to Tracy earlier today and went, okay, I should really try to use this paper, which doesn't blow my hair back. But nothing seems to blow my hair back on the first pass. And then I start playing with it. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, and then I'm like, okay, I need more of it. So this color, like 
something like this. Like, okay, that just doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. Why is my camera sagging so low? And how can I stop that from happening? Yes, I'm not going to. You'll just have to. Okay. Anyway, yes, if you do pots with it, you can cut pots out and they look like clay pots. And I get it. I understand. But to use it just on a card, I'm like, mm, okay. But this one, this pattern goes really nicely with, where's that other blue? This pattern. Look at these two. So these two go beautifully together. And this is the one I used on my baby cart. No, it's not. I lie. I lie like a carpet. This one is the one I used on my baby card over here. So love this color. It is kind of a pretty peacock-ish is kind of what it's supposed to be. But you see, I've got pretty peacock in behind. So it's just a little bit more teal. Um, do you, Pat? Well, I'd love to see your projects with it. Um, I'm struggling. I, well, today's the first day I actually really looked at it, to be honest with you. But I just thought, well, this this matches. So the pretty peacock and this is Lost Lagoon. She said yes, confidently. And then, of course, who doesn't need a uh, Lost Lagoon and Soft Seafoam Lion? <laughs> 3D Gingerbread House with that one. Looks like s'mores. Yes, I saw somebody, or Tracy said she saw somebody did this look like a cake. Like drips on a cake. So, yeah, absolutely. It's just at first glance, I'm like, oh, I like this pattern. I don't know. I, I just need to get on with it, right? Yes, I love the sweet, Connie. Uh, you saw my white card, I think. I do like the sweet. But anyway, so the paper is a little bit of a challenge. But same layout. Different card. But love it. Love it. And so now I have... 30, 7.37. I mean, I could say goodbye, but no. Let me think. What else? What other stamp set did I want to use? Okay, can we just look at this card again for a minute? Well, you guys, take this class. September 1st. How much money did I say it was? I don't remember. $80? $90? So cute. $80. Forge pickup. You need to make these cards. They're just so cute. I lost my other card. This one too. Mr. Cow. Look, we got all the animals in here. I'm not sure why they fly through the air. Anyway, if you need this bundle, taking the class is the way to go. Okay. All right. Now, I could use this paper. This might be easy for me because I'm a little out there today. All we need is like a nice floral image or something to go with. You know, I start off strong and it's easy enough to do that. So how about if this one we go, what is this? What I got in here? Tucked, oh, look at that. I ripped those ones off and didn't finish it. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, this one's stuck. Oh yeah, okay. Because I tape things down and then I change my mind. Okay, what size is this? Is this the right size? It is three and a quarter. Boom. It needs to be three by three. Let's use this piece. And... This piece. What size is this? Three by three. It was meant to be. Let's do it. Let's see what we can come up with. It does. You can, it's so funny. And what was it last week? Somebody said, hey, do you match your nail polish to your projects? No, but obviously I'm in a blue mood. <laughs> but I'm not. Hey, who wants a prize? We need a prize. Are you guys playing along? Look, look, I found I just looked over and this is I had it on my desk because I knew I'd forget. Do you know what these are? Do you know what these are? These are tabs that stick on your catalogs. All occasions, host and join, like they're the different sections. I bought two packages of them after, so I sent out all my catalogs. And now, well, so I've got two packs of them here. I think there's eight in a pack. Um, I think I'll do a draw, a draw. Um, I'll have to cut them somehow to get them in envelopes so it doesn't cost me a million dollars to mail them to you. But um, I will do two draws from everybody who plays tonight. Once I post pictures of my projects, you put a, a picture of your project in the comments, and then next Monday around 6, if I remember, <laughs> I'll do a draw, I'll do two draws for a set of those tabs. I'll mail those out to you. What do you say? Are you in? Okay, so this needs to be three by three. So let's go three by three. My, uh, my stuff shipped today three by three huh? 
from the uh, like my all my trucks and that. I think they all shipped today. I got a whole bunch of notifications that things shipped, so I'm assuming it's my truck stuff. Okay, and this needs to be two and a half by two and a half. So, all right. So while I'm doing this, let's go back to extravaganza. Have you registered yet? Last week registration was only for re returning um, stampers. Uh, but today it's opened to everybody now in Canada. Where is my, I'm stepping on something that's slippery. Hang on, I'm going to break my neck. Where's my blue? Where is my Knight of Navy? Um, why is this in here? Oh, it's in the wrong, okay. I was like, what's going on? My starry sky was in with my Knight of Navy. That's not okay. Do I want Knight of Navy? I think I do. Or do I want Misty Moonlight? Or both. Maybe this base with this layer. Or the Boho. Oh, Boho. There, there it is. There it is. Sorry, Misty, you're out. That's it. Misty's gone. Uh, yes, extravaganza. Um, I'm pretty sure that in August, well, not pretty sure. I don't know. I'm hoping, when do we get to see the stuff on the pre-order things? August. Oh, I forget. Anyway, we don't know what the projects are going to be, but you know they're going to be good. What am I doing? Wrong. Stop. This is the base. It's already cut. Five and a half. Okay. This needs to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I need to focus for a minute here. Let's go six by Boho. Oh yeah, okay. It's like that's wait, yeah. Mm -hmm. By three and a quarter. Okay, so three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this has to be two and three quarters. Yep, by two and three quarters. Yep. That goes there, and with this has to be two and a half by two and a half. So two and a half by two and a half. Is that right? Okay, so I'm hoping, thank you, Melanie. Yeah, I was thinking it was July, because we get to do our pre-order in August, right? July 28th. Okay, anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, the... Um, extravaganza as soon as we can order we're going to so we're not taking any late registrations this time the last uh, the deadline for registrations is september 4th because that's like we have to order september 4th or as soon as we can there is no time to turn around and order anything more and all that stuff so um we're like half sold out already we think um i think that's what I'm going with. Half sold out. It's just fun. If you can come to the in-person one, it's fun. Anybody who's been will tell you it's fun. And most people who have been come again. That's why we're half sold out is because of the repeat people. Um, it's such good value. And it's so much fun to get together with people like in person. It's fantastic. July 26th. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'm in Vegas for Backstage, which is for my title and above. Um, so, but that's not till August twenty fourth. Okay. So, oh, look how pretty this is! Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it! Oh, it just pops! It makes me happy. Tomorrow, we have to go to see the bank person. Talk about retirement how that all works Ugh, adulting you guys then we have to register our vehicles because they expire more adulting don't like the adulting I just want to play I just want to play I just want to bang on my drums all day you know the song you know it okay let's see now okay so look I didn't well I might have lost some viewers but we seem to be gaining speed here <laughs> we're up to 64 hello Hello, new friends. If they're if you're new to this page, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the trauma that might be inflicted upon you in the next 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm Tamara from Tamara's Paper Trail. Welcome. Give us a hidey ho. Let us know who you are and where you are viewing from. 
I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, coming to you from my basement. That's not straight and that irritates me. Um, I would like to have a flower. Oh, you know. How about... I'm going to see if... This might be... No, I think they're going to be too small. I guess there's one way to find out. Where's that snap set? Do, do, do. I'm thinking this is a bad idea. Because I don't think there's going to be enough white. What if I stamp this on... I'm sorry, Boho. I didn't mean... No, I mean, I'm sorry, Misty. Maybe I should bring in some Misty. No, I want to do Boho. Let's see if this works. I don't know. Oh, I might not like this at all. In which case... Retirement! Yes! 69 in September and still working during taxis. Well, taxis, and that'll get you every time. You must enjoy it, Mary, yeah? I hope you enjoy it and that it's not a have to to eat scenario. Um, okay, so I'm going to stamp these in. Night of Navy? Blueberry Bushel? Let's try Night of Navy and see what happens. Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. You know, I've been doing some soul searching lately, as I tend to do, and I've decided, like now, you know, when I first started this gig, I was in it for the destiny, like, well, it, when I started off, it was just for fun and all the things, right? And then when I decided to get into the business of it, uh, to earn the trip to Greece, um, that was my focus, and that was my, there's a cat hair on here that uh the destination became my main focus and now i'm really back into the journey of it like yes i wouldn't say no to a trip thank you charlie um but i'm getting back into no 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 this is way too goopy first of all um if i don't enjoy it i don't want to do it like you you have to enjoy what you're doing oh my gosh I'm blessed to love what I do, but I need to take a step back from the stress and all the crazy and just reel it in a bit and just make sure you're having fun. So that's, that's part of the reason why I'm taking the Thursdays off. It's like, I need to decompress because I'm crabby all the time. Like I'm just always oh, like, I have to do this and then I don't. And then, then it's a stress pressure thing. Um, you have to enjoy it. And so now I'm really getting back to, um, I want to make sure this is the right orientation. Getting back to focusing on the journey, not the destination. The trips are great. But you know what? The trips are one week out of the year. What about the other 51 weeks? If you're miserable or stressed or crabby or whatever, for the other 51 weeks, well, really? What's the point of that? That doesn't sound like fun at all. So I've been having a ball for the last two weeks. This didn't stamp well at all. Doing that again. Anyway, I know you guys always tune in to hear like my wisdom. <laughs> now that I'm 56, I'm so much wiser. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Let's do this. I think a lot. I don't know when I do this thinking. I do think a lot. But why I'm doing things. What I want to be doing. What brings me joy. Gratitude. All that stuff. See if this will work. This might be too dark. Oh, I think I would be better on white. I need some white to pop, I think. I need some more white. I need some white. Mm. Here's some white. Do you guys have a bucket of scraps on the on the floor like I do? I'm gonna try this one without the foam pad underneath. Uh oh, Valerie. I take it it's windy where you are. I'm sure your neighbors are grateful. Let's do this and see if it looks any better. Oh, for sure. I know, Mary. I, can, I think of all my tax friends at this time of year. I don't see them for the four months. Um, I probably should have been an accountant. I do like my numbers. There we go. Let's try this. Kathy, thank you. You're going to make me blush. Something like that. Does that work? What do you think? I could heat emboss on... Wow, Tracy. Darn you. I 
could. I'm not gonna. Because it's 750. I'm gonna stamp a sentiment and I'm gonna maybe I'll punch some flat some mm -hmm. I could. That would look lovely, Tracy. You do it and share 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 what it looks like. Dang that. I know it. Oh, all my scraps are now on the floor over here. This is what happens when I clean up. Okay, so like I did this. A couple of these. Did you see my spaghetti squash post? If you follow me on my personal page, I had uh, roasted spaghetti squash tonight for dinner. It was so good. So good. I really, meal prep is the way to go, you guys. Now, sadly, I'm lazy AF. Um, and that's why I don't have a lot of meals prepped in advance. But I tell you, I've been focusing on doing that. And I love vegetables. I love all the things. And when they're ready, I mean, dinner was spaghetti squash. It was good. Oh, that looks stupid. No, I don't like that at all. Um, what I might like, hang on, let's see, where's this guy? I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do another one of these. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> yep. Being pre, you know, being prepared because being hungry and lazy is not a good combination. So if I find just by having the vegetables chopped and the dip made, that's what I'm, I mean, when I say my current eating plan, you guys know I'm always on something, right? So I'm back on like Whole30, which essentially is just whole foods. It's uh, meat and vegetables and fruit. You make the salt, like there's no, there's no additives, no preservatives. Um, so I make my own sauces, my own dips, and that's what Sundays are kind of for now. Which is really, again, why I'm taking Thursdays for me to get all that stuff done. Because who has to, like, yeah, you know what, Tracy, this would look really nice with the sentiment embossed. It's only 752. What sentiment do I want? I want a better sentiment than that one now. Um, yeah, prep is where it is at. Let me see. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see. I want a good sentiment that's going to emboss nicely, which means not too small, but also not too big. Uh, how about, where's the thinking of you over here? I love reading these upside down and backwards. Um, thinking of you. Thinking of you. Let's do some heat embossing. Tracy, darn you to heck. Kay from Australia, how are you? You get, do you want to go to her about? You know what? Let's just give a round of applause. <laughs> Australia represents. We got Chris Stones from Australia is in the house. We got Kay Orchard from Australia is in the house. The same as what? I don't know what I said, Pat. The same as what? Put the die away. No, no, no. Uh, the same as what? Hmm. What was I talking about? I don't know. The same as what? I don't know what I was saying. Okay. Welcome to the show. What do we got? 15, oh, I lost a few viewers. They're tapping out now. <laughs> okay. This is going to go here. I don't know what I said. Crafty, you're from, what? Crafty Sheila, you're in Texas? I thought you were Canadian. Well, welcome Texas. Texas represents. Okay. I'm making that all goopy. Um, okay, now I would now do we want to heat emboss this in white? Probably, but I could also do it in Knight of Navy. I could okay, we could try this. Okay. Here's a little tomato tip. Aren't you glad you stuck around? I have crystal clear. Yes, I do. Okay, let's do this quickly because we're running out of time. Of course, my heat tool is way over here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make this. You know that you can make embossing powder in any color. True story. If you've got a good Versa mark that's nice and juicy and a juicy ink pad, we're going to make it happen. So, we used to carry Versa mark or um, embossing powder in all the colors, but then they stopped carrying them. But we still like the look of embossed, right? We love the embossed look. Okay, I have to get everything ready, so I have to move swiftly. Navy, Lake Placid, New York, and you get a goat. I love it. Oh, okay, thanks, Pat. 
<laughs> Thank you, Pat. See, when I half watch the comments, it turns into quite the um, interesting journey. Okay, so I have our crystal clear embossing powder. So I've got that ready. I have my embossing buddy. So this is, for anybody who doesn't know what this is, this is filled with, mm, I don't know if it's cornstarch, I don't know what's in there, but essentially it takes the oils from your hands uh, off your project and gets rid of, any, rid of any static that you may have. Like if you live in good old dry Alberta, um, you can have a lot of static. So that just kind of preps your area so no rogue embossing powder is going to flake where you don't want it to. So it helps if you have a really juicy, juicy ink pad. I'm going to go Knight of Navy. And I'm going to use the Thinking of You from whatever stamp set I pulled this from. The Wonderful Thoughts. Sure. Wonderful Thoughts. It's a wonderful thought. Thinking of You. And I'm going to move swiftly because what you want is you want this to be really wet so that our embossing powder will stick to it. So I'm going to move swiftly and with purpose. We want this goopy. So I'm going to go on the edges because remember how goopy it was earlier. And I can see it's pretty goopy on my thing, my stamp. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it, thinking of you. And then I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to cover it as quickly as I can with the clear embossing powder. I'm going to move my ink so that the embossing powder doesn't end up in my ink. So you can see what's going on here. Okay, so I've covered it. Tap it off. Now, I want to flake this off. I'm not going to blow. First of all, if you blow into that, good Lord, it's going to look like you're a Coke addict. Um, it's going to go everywhere. So I'm going to grab a paintbrush uh, that I have here, and I'm just going to rub off the extras. I'm not going to blow it. I want as much stuck to the sentiment as I can get. So if you have, if your ink isn't really juicy, this isn't going to work for you, and it's going to look not great. Now, ah, look what I did. See, I took away that. Please go back there. Good. So I'm going to tap it and I'm going to brush off the extra and then I'm just going to dry it. Okay, good enough. Put the cover back on. Where's the cover? Here's the cover. I still have three minutes. It's going to work. Okay. All right. Here we go. Gonna heat set it. Wait for the magic. Oh, this might not work with the Knight of Navy. I think the last time I did it, the heat actually took the night. Oh, it's working so far. Sometimes the heat will take the color of the ink away from it. Oh, that was too hot. Look at what I did. I warped my paper. Okay. I was too close and I burned my paper a little bit. So I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to, yeah, it's actually changed color, my paper, because I burnt it. Patience is a virtue. So I'm just going to... Heat the paper a bit more. Just going to push on it while it dries a bit here. Oh, good idea, Mary Jean. Okay. But since we don't have the Stamparatus anymore, I don't like to show product projects if people can't re reproduce them. But yes, absolutely, you are correct. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Okay, so now we have it's embossed and it's blue in behind. If you do this, I guess it was on vellum or on a different kind of paper. That's where it kind of took the, it took the color away from it. I was trying to do it on vellum. That's, that's where that's coming from. Um, this is bothering me because it's not lined up. There we go. So there we go. Uh, I want to do another thing of ribbon. So I'm gonna, I still have one minute. Donna, I will do the envelope in the inside off the air. So I'm gonna pull some more ribbons off or some more strands off. Okay, it's harder now because there's more. Oh, I should have gone from the other side. That was a mistake. See, when you rush, the hurt, what is it they say? The hurrier you go, the behinder you get. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so pull that out. There we go. Do a quick little bow. Let's 
So it's very similar to the other card, but just different paper. Okay, I'm gonna trim this so I can find my scissors over the garbage. Glue dots. It's amazing that I can find anything here. Where are you, glue dot? There you are. So when I do my glue dots, um, because I know it's just a little bit of ribbon, I roll. A, can you see what I'm doing? I'm rolling it kind of on my take your pick tool. I'm just making a little ball. And I'm going to stick that there. Bring in my ribbon. I'm going to go up and want to go down on this guy. Why not? Oh, that's weird. No. Oh, it's getting loose. Hang on. He's not. Oh, it's going to come apart. Hang on. have to retie it. <laughs> All right. We're now officially over time. 8.01. It's okay. Okay. If you have to go, go. I have to retie my bow. It came apart. It's not okay. <gasps> and now it's shorter. Good Lord. Get back in there. Gosh. Okay. Tie it. Pull tight and quick stick it on that glue dot. There we go, like that. Yes. Cute, cute, cute. I could add some butterflies. I don't have to, but I'm going to. Yeah, I mean, we've got so many different embellishments. Uh, these ones are current, so that's good. That. And that. Boom. Boom chicka. Where do you want to live? You want to live over here, don't you? Yeah, you do. Boom. There we go. Done. Ah, yes, it's great. Thank you, Sheila. It is great for scraps. Okay, now it's stuck. Glue dot stuck to my nail polish. Oh, for heaven's sakes. To my nail polish. Okay, where did my cards go now? Um... One, two, is that all I made was three. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Righty. You could add flowers. You could do all the things. I can't wait to see what you come up with. So again, um, I am going to um, take a picture of these and I'm going to post them in the in Tamara's paper trail. You take a picture of yours and post it in the comment section. And next Monday night, I will do a draw. And so like I say, I've got a bunch of these. So I'll do two next week. Um, and I'll pop them in the mail to the lucky winners. They're catalog tabs. So they just make things a little bit easier for you to flip through. And that is it for this evening's show. I know, Jennifer. I love this one. I could just, I, I can't. Oh. But this one, oh, the little elephant. Oh, my God. I love her. Love her. Anyway. Thank you for spending time with me. It's been fun. I won't be here Thursday, but I will be here Friday morning for my coffee break, right? 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Come for a coffee break and catching up on all the things stamping up, including the extravaganza um, and my classes and all that stuff and things. I hope you have a fabulous week. Uh, Craig's off for two weeks. So tomorrow we're adulting and yeah, we're just going to be, we're on vacation. He's on vacation. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you on Friday. Thanks.